speech is Workforce Investment <coughs> Act program and services. And objective of the speech are using proper voice, speech, pronunciation, and enunciation of the words. Help me welcome Jim Turian, Workforce Investment Act program and services. is not the filling of a bucket, but the lighting of a fire. And that's a quote from William Butler Yeats. So this speech is a follow-up to my previous speech on workforce investment programs. I work for, as Manesh said, I work for the, I work for DLAG, specifically the, <coughs> the Bureau of Workforce Transformation, that's known as BWT. And uh, DLAG is the Department of Energy, Labor, and Economic Growth. So BWT, that bureau, implements Michigan's workforce investment policy. In Michigan, the central mission of workforce investment is to emphasize meaningful education and training as opposed to simply re-employment. In my last speech, I covered the bureaucratic structure of, workforce, of the Workforce Investment Act, and in this speech, I'll cover the services and the program itself. So if you take a look at diagram number one, we'll just quickly go over that. It probably looks familiar because I, I, I uh, couldn't get through it at our last, you know, my last speech, so I just wanted to kind of quickly go through it in more detail, more comprehensively. So I work in the WIA section of the BWT. We um, implement federal law, which is the Workforce Investment Act. And so this diagram, kind of covers the programs and funding. The we have funding are federal funds that provide investments to improve Michigan's workforce. So if you look at the diagram here, there are three funding streams and three programs. The dislocated worker program, known as DW, on the left column there, those, that program serves those people who've lost their jobs. The adult program serves participants who are 18 years of age or older. And then the youth program on the right hand side there serves participants who are 14 to 21 years old. And they also must be low income and have one additional barrier, which is usually like a pregnant participant or someone who has a, an orphan or a foster child. So those are the three programs and if you look at the upper left side, the 20%, that is Department of Labor emergency funds, and that's money that's controlled by the Department of Labor. That money is used to prevent, in the, it takes the form of grants usually to local areas that have been hit by mass layoffs. So if a plant closes, the uh, DOL will send money to the Michigan Works agencies in that area to help those people who have been laid off find jobs or get training. And then they also provide technical assistance. The DOL will provide technical assistance to MWAs that are struggling. The bulk of WIA funding are the formula funds. And so if you look at the chart where it says allocated to local areas, that is the formula funding, where it's 60% of the 80% remaining in DW, and then 85% of the other two programs. That money is allocated to the MWAs based on a DOL formula, you know, hence the name formula funds. And the formula is based on kind of complicated measures related to like the population size and the needs of the population. So BWT has oversight of those funds, some oversight, but the ultimate authority resides with the Department of Labor, the Federal Department of Labor. So if you look at the 15%, kind of across the board there, that's statewide activities. And that is discretionary money that's controlled by the governor of Michigan. I mean, each state's governor controls that money. So that's used for various programs in, that are kind of state specific. Those programs are, like just I gave three examples of, oh, I didn't give one here, but the three, three good examples are to improve service center operations, that's one program. Another program is to improve the 
provide performance incentives for the Michigan Works Service Centers so that to kind of get them to perform more effectively. And then another one is a popular one right now is a program to promote green technology. So that money goes to, it helps participant, it, it kind of facilitates when participants, a, a local employer that's, that's promoting green technology will kind of hook up with a, someone who needs a job. So the money goes to kind of facilitate that. The, at the bottom of the dislocated worker is the 25% of rapid response. That is, so that's rapid response money. That is emergency money that's controlled by the rapid response unit. It's controlled by the governor, really, but it's kind of implemented by, it's controlled by the state. So it provides emergency funding for, again, for areas that are hit with mass layoffs or have some kind of unique problem. And so those, so when there's, when there are mass layoffs, we call them SAGs, but they're state adjustment grants. That money goes to Michigan Works agency to help them kind of implement, help those people who've lost their jobs. So I don't think I'm going to have much time to get into the diagram number two, but basically that diagram number two covers the, the specific services that are implemented by Michigan Works agencies. You have a one-stop delivery center, and those are Michigan Works service centers, and then they, they implement non-WIA programs as well as WIA Title I programs, which are the heart of kind of the WIA system. So WIA implements a set of programs and creates a service delivery structure in which a variety of other workforce related programs are funded and implemented. So we hope that these programs and services will improve Michigan's labor force, attract employers to Michigan, and give workers the skills they need to get higher paying jobs. evaluation form for Jim. Everybody should have a form.